video. So for the first 30 minutes of this painting, I just did a little bit of a background. Down there you can see the burnt umber underneath everything else. And I did some browns in the ground. And then I did this gradient blue color in the sky. It kind of gets darker at the top, lighter at the bottom. Next I added some greens to the ground area on top of my browns. At this point I was having a lot of fun learning how to put paint down onto the canvas and to pick it up depending on how much paint was loaded onto my paintbrush. It was really fun. One of my ultimate goals for this piece was for this piece to be a lot more loose and impressionistic. I tend to be tight, like really realism s. For example... Everything has to look like a photograph or else it's not perfect or else it doesn't count. I don't know why. Anyway, I was really having fun with how goopy everything was. So after I got the little greens onto the ground, I decided to move on to making the clouds. The next day, I was ready to make the clouds, but there was something wrong. What the heck are those little dark drying areas? They're like darker than the rest of the sky. Oh yeah, I can see that. That's really, really weird. And I didn't like it at all. And it made me want to wipe the whole thing off and just quit with this painting. But I decided to keep going and see what I could do later on. I had an idea, but I didn't know if it would work. Check it out. So do you see the dark splotches and then those lines that I made with my paintbrush when I made the sky? But the clouds aren't consistent with that texture and it was driving me crazy. So I took the paintbrush and I kind of brushed over the blue to recreate a better texture. <laughs> Phew, all better. Okay, now that I got that texture, I added some more colors, a few more shades, and voila, I was finally happy with my piece. It was looking so good. And when I squinted my eyes, it, it, it represented what I wanted. So there you go. That's all, folks.